Hey there, this is Kay for a In this video today we are going to learn how to crop your drawing, your sketch, your image, your illustration, your canvas, however you call it. So, um, in previous video I have made some kind of uh, rough, uh, ugly drawing just to test and show you how to uh, zoom, rotate and uh, move, navigate your canvas. In this video today we are going to cut out or crop a piece of it. So um, that uh, feature you are going to use for example when um, you need only one piece of illustration from your whole uh, drawing. So for example you make a drawing and your client says ok uh, this is all uh, bad like here but I like this guy here. this small guy here so uh, can you cut it out so to do that you go to this button here which says crop and again it's um, already defined it already has defined a shortcut it says C so it doesn't matter if you press C on your keyboard which I'm going to do now it will be the same feature as and tool as if I'm pressing this button here on the, this toolbar menu bar. So uh, it will give the same effect so don't worry and even if I press my C button here on my for example canvas here you can see how that tool, how that button up become activated. So the first thing which we see here is that we have some kind of W and H, those represent width and height. So, for example, uh, in our case, that is the whole. I think the whole image is uh, wide, 1920 pixels, that means left and right borders, and a height, top and bottom, is 997 pixels. So, you that's the area you want, you have uh, as maximum, so you can crop out of it, cut out of it. Uh, this is very simple tool, all you have to do is click and drag uh, and like this you have to uh, click the button first, yeah. So click like this and you will have some kind of area to work with. Uh, in this case, for example, this is uh, too big, so for example, I could make it even bigger like this, but it doesn't make sense for this guy here. Uh, client wants only this matrix guy here, so he says, okay, cut him out, so I'm making now my borders, my limits to this, and all you have to do now is press enter and that's it. Uh, I have my new area to work in, new drawing, so now he says, okay, now try to define this guy better, make him look more realistic, so that's what we are going to do now. And uh, again, it's all about what you need, when you need it, if you need it, but you have seen how fast this was. In this er um, in this example I didn't uh, have to uh, make uh, any uh, changes on that uh, um, number, which was a uh, number of uh, how many pixels I have. Um, for width and height, but sometimes you will uh, need to change those also, I will show that maybe in some of the next video. Um, yeah, th this doesn't look much better, but again the whole idea is that this way you can crop out or cut out. And now we have 330 pixels, uh, yeah, so for example I could maybe try to make this, yeah, you can type, uh, for example, maybe 256 times 256 but 
Yeah, if I press enter, no, nothing happens. Uh, this is something you do before you make the crop out, so let me try it like this. If I hold the shift, nothing happens, okay. Yeah, so now when I type in maybe 200, yeah. So we have learned also how to, yeah, so this is for example now my area if i wanted for example to make um, very specific borders like uh, for some kind of tiling or something like that and i have this much so uh, either i have to make it smaller by resizing the image first so i will cancel this you have this x button to cancel it or this uh, to um, say okay do it i'm not going to do it or maybe I will, yeah, just for this example, yeah, so this is now 256 times 256, but it doesn't make sense because we have cut out his likes too. Anyway, I hope this was a little bit faster, yeah. Anyway, you know how to cut out or crop out pieces of your illustration and um, also to define in which borders, in which limits you want that uh, crop to be. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in next one. Bye for now.